What is something uniquely middle class that neither the poor nor rich experience? Budgeting for holidays. The rich don't need to, and the poor can't afford holidays. Probably stressing about home ownership and mortgages. The rich probably already have multiple homes and it's already beyond attainment for the poor. In the US, the middle class and even some do the working class fall into the category of I need help but I make too much to qualify. I believe it is sometimes called the welfare cliff. People make more, but then lose access to their subsidized childcare, housing, healthcare etc. and actually end up worse off. Lots of middle class people have enormous medical debt, don't qualify for any sort of school grants, and so on. Having a two-car garage that's so full of random shit that you can only get one car in it. Making choices on what to buy at the Scholastics Book Fair. Rich enough to not get financial aid, but poor enough that it's a massive burden. Paying proportionally the most taxes while also receiving the least benefits and subsidies. One extra bedroom that serves multiple purposes. It is a guest room office home gym craft room play room. In my experience with wealthy families, each of these things has its own room. Financially unstable families are unlikely to have an extra bedroom to spare. Mowing the yard. Shouldering the tax burden of both the rich and the poor. Making monthly payments on your kids' braces. Massive college debt. The rich just pay for it and the poor typically qualify for way more financial assistance. Of course there are other debts associated with college, but if you have lower middle income parents who don't want to pay a dime for college, you are pretty fucked. I'd also include kids of rich people who don't want to help with college, but they are more likely to have other relatives who might help. Paying income taxes. I am firmly middle class. In the middle class, the way education is viewed is all about getting a job career income. This, apparently is not so for the poor whose access to education is diminished, and for the rich for whom education is more about making connections than anything else. At least that's the way I have learned it. Saving for retirement. Health insurance to a certain extent. Tools, poor can't afford them and the rich pay someone else to fix it. Costco runs? Samples, a full cart, the food court. I'm guessing rich people don't hang out here, but I don't know. As a kid, going on a road trip to somewhere fun but the whole way there, you can only eat the food your mom packed from home. It's really sad when you're nine, and your family pulls over into the Burger King parking lot just so you all can eat the soggy sandwiches from the cooler. Pointlessness of filling out a FAFSA form. The rich don't need it and the poor benefit from it. Being able to afford something nice but yet not being able to afford it. Like you have the money to buy a nice car but you know you'll be compromising on your future needs or cutting some other aspects.